Hey, what's up guys? Here for the next video. Today we're gonna install the Creality Silent Board on the Ender 5. Flip it open here. It's version 1.1. Can't get to focus, hold on. It's version 1.1.5. See the board's black, so it's the silent version. So we're gonna go ahead and install the silent board on, on this uh, Ender 5 right here. The next upgrade we're going to do is the z-screw we got two z-screws for it too that's next um so on this one the box doesn't come out as easy um it's six bolts could just do that but on this one i'm just going to flip it over because i'm going to change the z-screw anyway so i'm going to have to do readjustments so i'm just going to go ahead and flip it up on the side so first we went ahead and unplugged it um everything's clear from the back all the wires i have ran i have ran over here on the side anyway Right there on my mini mod uh so basically all we got is the stepper motor for the y-axis so we're gonna go ahead and flip this thing up on its back like that once again it's got four screws on this one and it is i believe the second one from the smallest one that came with the kit and that's and that's correct so we're gonna go ahead and take them off so we're gonna go ahead and loosen those up and we'll hold it with your hand and you can spin these screws out. And we're going to unplug the fan. And we're going to go ahead and set this aside. There we go. Now you can see in the box right here. It's actually got a Landy power supply. A 350. Landy's not as good as Meanwell, but it's not that bad. Get you a little cup, little lid. Put your screws in there. Okay, yeah, it's got three, four screws. Okay, and uh, it's it's still the same, the same, um, still the same Allen wrench that took the case off. So I'm just gonna loosen them all up. You know, we're gonna go ahead and take three of these screws out. We're gonna leave one, and we're gonna leave that top one in. And grab the other board. Here's the other board. So as you see everything on the boards the same it all lines up the same so the easiest way to do this is just to do swap them straight straight to straight um just remember that one right there's the fan header so you can go ahead and just pop start popping them off and swapping them to the next one I'm go ahead and pop this one off and pop it right on there I'm go ahead and pop that one off Pop it right in there. Pop that one off. Pop it right in there. At least they didn't get crazy with the glue on this one. It's got a little bit, but not as bad as the other one was. Brings you to the iFixit kit here. You got your flathead in there. Right when I said there was no glue, there's glue on that one. There we go. We'll go ahead and swap that to here. We know the monitor one goes up to the top. Here, we'll just, I'm gonna push the monitor one out all the way out of the way. Okay, let's uh, hold this up right here and go ahead and grab these thermostat wires. You want to make sure you put your thermostat wires because they're both just white, as you can see. Um, one of them's for the bed and one of them's for the extruder. It is marked on here. The only problem is they're not marked. The wires are not marked. So you just got to make sure you keep them separated. So here we go. So I'm going to unplug that white one and I'm going to instantly go ahead and plug it right in so I don't mistake it. And then I'm going to unplug this other white one and do the same thing. You don't want it sensing your bed temperature instead of your uh, thermostat, I mean your hot end temperature. I'll go ahead and swap the Z axis over here. Go ahead and swap the... the Y over and go ahead and swap the X over now the last one on them roll of whites right there this last one is for the case fan underneath so we're not swapping it over this is the first time I've ever seen one with um, with glue on the power wires 
Anyway, so we're gonna swap the two big one, the two singles over first. That's the power supply in. Just gonna loosen them up on the old one, and then pop them out. I'm trying to get it where y'all can see me doing it. Yeah, loosen up the new one here, and the bottom on that is positive. You can just check the board though. You can see right there on the back, positive, negative. But the, so the black is the negative wire. And it'll loosen it up a little bit more. And just hold them in there a little bit. And then go ahead and snug them back down. I like to hold this plastic snugly. <laughs> is that a word? And then just crank it down real good. The key to making sure this is right is make sure you have the right tip, a small screwdriver, strong screwdriver, not a piece of junk. And just give them a little tug, make sure they're good. And we'll go ahead and swap the rest now. We're just gonna do the first two. It's kind of hard to get it to where y'all could see me putting them in. So you can get a good view. And you just double check on the bottom to make sure it's okay. Yeah, the first one's red. The second one was black. Make sure you only get the metal. Make sure you only get the wire inside the screw hole. They had some of the rubber in there on the factory. Could be why this, this printer was having weird issues. Okay, now, we got two more here. Get the two reds up top. We're gonna switch them. We're gonna do them one at a time. The very top one, the hot end. Yeah, the hot end. We're gonna switch that over to the new board. We're going to go ahead and do the second one now. I'm going to swap it in there. We're going to unscrew the last two now. And as you can see, black goes on top, red goes on bottom. So we can go ahead and just unscrew both of these all the way. It's a big wire there. Must be the bed. Just push it in there, make sure you got it nice and snug, and then go ahead and snug down the screw. Okay, and then do the same thing for the black wire. I'm gonna show you, there's a little there's a little square down in there. That's where uh, I fixed a printer for somebody one time where they tried to do the swap themselves and it didn't work. And that was the problem. I'm gonna show you that in a second. But I think more people make that mistake than, than people know. Okay, down inside here, when you loosen these screws up, there's a there's a piece inside there. It's kind of hard to, there you go, you can see it. Here, I'll do the first one, that way it's easier to see. Or actually, look at this, I'll do this one. This one's bigger, it's easier to see. Hmm. Screw that one all the way up, okay. Now you see the first one, the first hole here? See the square there? When you screw it in, the square closes. See, and then that's tight. You screw it out, see the square. See how the square opens up? That square right there is where the wire needs to be. Sometimes, what you can do is you'll screw this out and you open the square up, but it'll stay popped out. And you'll put the wire on the wrong side of the square, up inside there. If you do that, then you'll tighten this up and it won't really tighten the wire up, but you'll think it's tight. It'll snug up tight. So that's why you always gotta make sure after you put the wires in, you do a little pull test on them, make sure they're in there. Cause if you get them on the bottom of that square, they won't be in there. So let me go ahead and screw this board back up and we'll test the printer out. And 
then go ahead and stick your uh, SIM card back in. I mean, not your SIM card, your um, memory card. Get out of your old board so you don't forget about it. Okay, now you just plug your fan back into right here. Put your panel back on. Put your four screws back in and you flip it up. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll test the printer out. So now that you got that uh, board in, look, and go ahead and go to your settings. Confirm that the board is good. Wrong one. Go to prepare. Move axis. And we're gonna go to the Y axis. And we're gonna hear the. We're gonna hear it move. Or we're not gonna hear it move. It's silent now. No noises at all. Let's go ahead and move the let's move the x-axis and hear that one. Or not hear it. Completely silent. Sounds good, don't it? Okay. Well, I'd say that's a success. Let's uh, zero this out. Go ahead and check the Z is 20.78, X is 20.13, and Y is 20.07. Okay, guys, thanks for watching me install the silent board. As you see, it went pretty easy. Uh, it wasn't that difficult at all. Just follow the rules. You can go to the Facebook group, you can get the firmware, you can put it on there. That's the factory firmware, I didn't even upgrade nothing. It was just ready to roll right off the, right off the bat. It's much quieter now. Um, don't forget to drop a subscribe down below. Like the video for other cool videos like this. I'm going to do the BL Touch next. Uh, that'll be like next week's video. And then I'm going to do... I'm going to do the wire management I think soon too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace.